Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching my Let's Replay channel. This, again, this is Andrew T coming at you, and the, for the second game in our three-part series today is going to be Game Dev Tycoon. Now, this is a game I've seen played by a lot of Let's Players, but never really played myself. And apparently there is a specific way to do all the um, uh, game development for all the games you make from the beginning to the, you know, till the, the end game, but... I don't really want to do that, so we're just going to fly by the seat of our pants today. So, the uh, story of this game is that uh, you're going back in time to the 80s at the start of the video game boom, and you're a game designer that's basically starting in your garage, and then you know you try to level up from there, from your the people you hire to everything else. So, this pretty much what I was going to say. Uh, back in time, start your own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. The next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your venture, you have to give your company a name. Company name. Uh, Nostalgic Inc. Let's make it most Nostalgic Inc. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be male. There's a female. There's male. All right. Do I want to be blonde? Uh, let's go with that. And then shirt. I'm wearing blue, so that's close enough. All right. Continue. Okay. I'm glad you can fast forward these if you just click. Okay, you're in your garage right now, like a lot of people were back in the 80s, making their own games. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that was kind of cool, I guess. Oh, I got a Steam achievement. Alright, so... Develop... Okay, so you just have to click anywhere, and it'll be like, develop new game. So you can, as you can see, that's the time machine, the DeLorean right there. So let's develop new game. So kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Now, for me who grew up, well, I was born in uh, the, born in the 80s, the early 80s. So all this like starting out is pretty much when I grew up playing games and all the games that kind of came out whenever I was a really young kid. Um, yeah, there's a uh, little bit of options back then just because there wasn't a whole lot back then. Like Pong wasn't, I think, more than about... 10, 15 years old at that point, uh, and Atari had basically been out, jeez, not even that long. So, all right, so concept, game concept, let's call it, uh, let's just call it game one. It's like, oh, uh, intro. All right, pick topic. Cyberpunk, music, music. Music wasn't popular till like 2000, zombies. Let's go sci-fi, genre, uh, let's go RPG. <laughs> let's go PC. Cause looks like the G sixty four costs a bit more, and and the market share is just about even right now. So let's go to next. Let's see graphics, text based text-based and to, or draw one 2d graphics on top of that let's go 2d all right and there we go we're starting as you can see the little bubbles come up and got one design one technology okay so basically the better you get the more points you get and the better your game gets all right so engine gameplay on story quest so it's an RPG story quests are gonna be pretty important gameplay is gonna be fairly important as well the engine uh, not so much I don't think so let's go okay all right okay yeah pretty much at the very end whenever your timelines up it'll see how many bugs are on your top left hand corner so at that time, they, you can choose how long you want to... Uh... Okay, so here's dialogues, level design. Let's go with dialogues a little bit higher. Eh. And let's go two-thirds on all of them. Yeah, so... Oh, I got a nice two there. All right, technology's good. 
Run into bugs already. Like basic sounds, all right, so. I have to research stuff in order to get it in this game. Kind of like theme park. So, <laughs> um, all right, so. Yeah, that's all the options I have, so I'm gonna use all those. Let's go world design a bit up, graphics a bit up, and sound a bit up to, to two thirds. So already the bugs are coming. So I'm not doing too bad for the first one. I only have 34k though. Not complete. But I want to make sure all the bugs are gone first. And sometimes, even though there's only three showing, more can show up as you're doing that. So you don't want to wait too long, but you don't want to have any bugs on there if you want a good game to go out. So, yeah, it can severely affect your ratings, and the ratings are everything. Just like the star market, all the... Alright. And you can get additional technology and uh, stuff like that, too. Okay, finish. So, usually, like you can see in the top right hand corner, like week four, like the days up there. So usually after a couple of days or a week, you know, if you don't have anything else coming in, any more bugs or any more bubbles coming in, you should go ahead and um, release it because you do have weekly expenses and that does uh, have your cash go down. Okay, improve your skills. Let me present a summary of the experience. All right, so, all right, we're gonna click through this. So you can see everything here, engine gameplay, all the stuff we basically clicked on before. And as you're, you hire people, right now it's just me, so when you hire people, they get experience as well, and they get better at what they do, they get faster, but they also cost more money at the time. So we're going to release the game. Okay. I just took a wild guess, because I like I said, I've, only, I've seen a couple of these Let's Plays for this, but I don't remember every single genre and everything, and which is a good or great uh a match so okay so I should have a pretty decent ooh eight grand monthly costs so basically after three months if I'm not making any money I'm broke <laughs> okay so you have the this is all over the place I've seen better uh, man wow okay so pretty average All right. Okay, just released the first game. Intro. <laughs> okay, let's uh, do some research here. Do I have enough for anything? New topic. All right, yeah, we need need new topics all the time. Oh my gosh. Um. God. All these topics suck. <laughs> so let's go with... Uh... You know what? Let's not do that right now. We don't have enough for custom game engines, so let, instead of research, let's do... Develop a new game. Game number two, let's go with... Uh... Actually, let's pick a topic first. Let's go with zombies, genre, action... Project Zomboid. I don't know why it came to me, just just did. Alright, let's go with the PC again. Next. Let's do a go 2D graphics just because, you know, that's probably gonna be better. That's 10k, I only have 26. Eh, I'm gonna be making decent money off my last game, so I can at least get this started. Alright, so, decent amount of sales. Okay, so you can see the sales in the top right hand corner. Uh, let's go, let's see, this is a zombies action game, so... Game, story quest, don't really need that. Engine, let's go to the top here. Alright, got some fans, so we're looking forward to seeing what I do next. Hey, I had pretty much the same sales as the week before. That's gonna go down probably a lot. So dialogue's not very big in an action game. I'll design an AI, let's crank that up. And he's stuck. <laughs> okay, so I'm making decent sales on this, but I need to get other games out ASAP to get that cash coming in. 
So, world design, let's get that up. Graphics, sound, eh. Let's do, let's do up on all three. Let's see how it does here. I know I'm only one guy, but, you know, try and get some quality out there. Okay, now, we got a lot of bugs this one. Okay, now we're gonna wait one more week. Okay, so you see the other one's already off the market and I just finished this game. So I got 59,000 in sales, 58,289 in sales, so I'm a little bit better than what I did before, but I gotta get a better game out there with better reviews, so. Okay, new topic and new combo. Okay, that's good. So, getting a little bit better and everything. So, let's release the game. Alright, so the reviews are in. What do they think? Meh, ah. Uh, okay. Not bad, not good. Mmm. So, not very good this time either. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do I have enough to research a custom game engine yet? Nope. Uh, no, let's not do new topic yet. Let's do develop new game. What new topic should I do? Um, let's do sci-fi again. And I did RPG last time. Action. Sci-fi action game. Uh... Stalk Death. Stalk Death. -er. Anyone inside my grief in will definitely get that. So, <laughs> platform. PC. No, I said PC, not Siri. <laughs> that was kind of funny, actually. It's the first time it's ever happened. Alright, so next. Alright, let's do graphics again. Cost a bit more, but. It's good in the long run to get me experience. Alright, so this is a sci-fi action game, so engine, gameplay... Eh, let's get the story a little up here. Alright, so not doing too bad. I'm only one bug so far, I'm design and technology a little... So, let's dogs a little bit up. AI down and level design up. Okay. So I'm getting a lot of research points for this one. Okay. World design, not a big deal. Let's keep the sound up though. Especially for action game. Gotta make those, uh, those punching sounds really good. Okay. Invento. That one I'm definitely getting as soon as I can. <laughs> Dinky King. Okay, we'll be take off, but we're eager to see what an Invento will deliver. Okay, so I gotta get the bugs down. Okay. Okay. Oh! Okay, it's off the market. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this game now. So a little bit less sales, but. That's because I did better in the, uh, or worse in the reviews. Got a new combo. So I got a little bit bonus there. Let's release the game and see if this is any better. Okay, Stock Deather. Ooh, I saw some tens in there. Good game, all right. So this should get me a lot of... Okay, hurry up, come on. Nice. Got like a 7.3 on this one. And this should make me some decent money. Okay, research. Custom game engine. Do I have No, I don't have enough for that yet. Develop new game. All right, what should we do now? I've done sci-fi before. Let's do cyberpunk. Let's do action cyberpunk. 
Uh, let's, let's call it... Cypher. Alright, <laughs> I was gonna go Cypher, but... Alright, uh, let's go with... PC again. Sorry, Andy. There's nothing to repeat. I'm gonna just have to put my phone down. <laughs> it keeps on... Uh, misinterpreting me here. Alright, so we're gonna already start developing this one as the... Sales for this one go up. Alright, I'm getting decent money. So, I got a cyberpunk action game. Engine gameplay. Yeah, okay, I'll keep that the same. This fin Stock death are impressed by her talent. Okay, so we got some contract work coming in here. So, that's if I don't want to do a game and just want to get my skills up. Alright! Woo! Okay, so... Let's crank the AI up a bit. Ninvento, alright. <laughs> TES. Uh, nostalgia. Alright, so, mm, got a little bit more bugs this time. World design, let's bring that up a bit. And keep the graphics and sound good as well, since it worked so well last time. Alright, I finally have enough to do a new engine. And I'm gonna wait for the bugs to come out. And then we're gonna wait for this one to, the sales to, oh. Creators of oh, okay. And for a very first game, this thing had a huge, uh, uh, Let's Play following. And if you ever pirated this, uh, they, there's a very funny uh, bug they give you that uh, pretty much all your games get pirated that you try to make, so you make no money off of it, so you can't really play the game. So that's pretty funny. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to wait, get as much as I can into it, and then wait for this to go, and then I'll finish it. Woo! 100k, alright. Okay. Two... Ah, uh, one more bug. Finish. Alright. Alright, let's hurry up. New topic, new combo. Don't have a great combo yet, but I gotta level up in everything except for world design. So let's release the game. Okay, uh, please let it be average at least. Eight. Alright, good. Alright, let's skip ahead. S seven. Alright. About eight. Alright. And forget you all games. Okay. Uh, research. Custom game engine. Start research. Alright, so I'm gonna, well, that's why I'm doing this stuff as fast as I can, because while this is making money, I can get some research on a new game engine here. Okay. And then I'm gonna be making nothing but Ninvento games here for a while. Okay. Alright, got new research available. Game tutorials and model sound. Okay, um, what's the next thing? Can I create one? How much is it going to cost? Ooh, it's going to cost a lot. Now let's crank out another game first and get over 200 grand and then I'll do it. So, develop new game. Uh, topic. Let's go zombies. Action. Eh. What should I call it? The. There we go. Pick platform. Ooh, license it for eighty grand. I'll have a hundred grand left over. 106 grand left over. 
So yes, I will definitely get that. Okay, 2D graphics, yep. Yeah. There is no text base uh, for Ninvento, so you at least have to have that. Uh, let's keep that the same. So I'm still making some money from this, so. Mm, level design, yeah, let's keep all that the same. Zombie action game. Okay. Still making decent money, but it's about to run out here for the last run of Hawkmo Cypher. <laughs> Graphic sound, world design, uh, let's crank that up a bit. Okay. This is my first Ninvento game, so. Okay, so I made a hundred grand in that, and this one needs to do well too, because I gotta generate a new game engine. But I want to do a good game engine, not just a you know a new one. Okay, got another bug. Finish. All right. New record. New record. All right. So I'm getting better since I'm level two now. Didn't really get a good combo or new or anything like that. Uh, please let it be average at least. Oh, dang it. Shows potential. Come on, something above average. All right. Okay. All games. I don't know what the heck you want from me, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go with. Find contract work. Okay. Hmm. All right. So. I've been doing 14 and 15, and that's five weeks to do that, so that is definitely possible, and it'll get me some uh, level ups there. So, um, let's go with the first one. Accept contract, all right. Yep, I'm gonna barely make it here. Woo! All right, so all right, so let's do one more contract work here. I only have two. No, can't do that. So let's do uh one more game. Let's do music. Let's do simulation. Let's do Nintendo. 2D graphics, yeah. Start development. Just because I gotta get a little bit more money in before. Uh, don't need that first for simulation. Do a little bit, but. Okay, let's do that. So this is going to be a technology driven, hopefully, and there's no dialogues in, well, make it a little bit. AI up. Okay. So I'm selling 20,000 units, so I'm not doing bad on the lethargic dead. Uh, let's do world design down. Sound is going to have to be at the, at the max here. Graphics, let's leave it here. Okay, come on, come on up. I oh, don't want to finish just yet. Get those bugs out. Got a fan, all right. Give it one more week. All right, so let's make sure. Now there's another bug. Okay, and then finish. New topic, new combo. I didn't get a great combo though. So let's go and release it and get some more money in and then immediately start on a new engine. Oh, come on. Yes. 
good, despite the name. What? How do you even know? You could call it anything. Okay. Create custom engine. Let's do that. Ooh. Okay, so... Gosh, I forgot to name it. So while this is going on, I'm going to get my other game engine out there. Hopefully get some more money in. Get some research points, get a new topic hopefully here soon. Uh, come on, stop scratching your head. It's actually doing pretty well. I'm glad to wait to level 2 in order to do this. Okay. First custom engine, alright. Let's uh, develop... See, is there any contract work? Or is that every six months they said there was contract work? Right, let's do it this time just to kind of get it out there. I'm sure I can do that in five weeks. Four, three, two, one. Oh, come on. Okay, so basically, concentrate on younger gamers. All right. All right, so I've done that. And then, game history research. Let's do research here. New topic. It's going to cost money. That's going to cost money. So let's do that. Okay. So after this, I got to immediately get another game out for an invento. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Vena. Okay. Crap, I should have done that first. Alright. I just messed up. So, develop new game. Take topic. Let's do... Music. Genre. No, you can't do that. So let's change music and go to zombies, RPG, Zombo 2, platform, alright, let's do that, version 2, 2D graphics, start development. Okay, so this is a zombies RPG, so story's going to be up. Gameplay about the middle. And I keep on forgetting to do this stuff on the right-hand side. Okay, so dialogues, because this RPG's up. Level design. And then artificial intelligence. Okay, first bug, not too bad. World design's gotta be have to be up. Sound, let's get around middle here. Okay, the Venom Master System, alright. Yeah, I get it. Okay, come on. Uh, get those bugs out of there. Let's see if there's anything other things that can come up. Okay, I may get some. Anything else? Yep, one more design. Wait a little bit more. Okay, finish. New record, all right, got my design up. Release game, and let's see what the reviews are gonna be for this one, because I got about just under 100 grand in. Oh, uh, it's, okay, not too bad. Okay. All right, good reviews, or at least above average. All right, so research. Uh, I 
Yeah, it's going to cost 40k though. I can't really do it. Let's do a new topic. Let's do prison. Start research. That's um, that's uh, going to be a short one to get out of there. Eh, not quite 8, eight grand in uh, sales at first one, but... Okay, so let's use this new topic and create a new game. So, topic, prison, genre. Let's go with Sim, Platform, Nintendo, Game Engine 1, and then call it... Uh, Land of Oz. Next, okay, start development. Let's go, uh, don't need that gameplay, let's get it up. Ah, I keep forgetting to do that ones on the side. Okay, dialogues, uh, move it down a bit. Level design's gonna be have to be high. AI, let's move it down here. If you're, I'm wondering why I'm moving the sliders as they are. I have no pro, you know, process for why I'm doing it like that. But uh, simulation, let's go world design, graphics, sound. Yeah, that's about right. So let's leave it like that. Okay. Okay, just in time because I just finished and I made 140. Ugh. I only have one. <laughs> Good thing I made that game, or else I would have been freaking broke. Okay, bugs are still coming in. Anything else? Now another bug. Get out of there. Finish. Okay. New topic, new combo. All right, so I got a little bit of bonus from that. Release the game, and hopefully I get above average. That's all I'm looking for right now. Is just above average scores. Have been better. I like it. Fun at stages. Okay, so just barely above average. I'll take it. So now what? Can I do any more research? It just costs so much, and I don't have the money to spare. I need, I need a blockbuster game. Let's see. Is there any contract work I can do? See, play test a game, character design, debug pro oh yeah, that's <laughs> twenty-five, that's a lot, so now let's do this one. Okay, get some more research here. And that's gonna be close as long as I don't stop. Ooh, that was a close one. Okay, so Develop new game. Uh, topic. Sci-fi. Strategy. There. Game Engine 1. Let's call it... <coughs> Civ. Alright. 2D Graphics version 2. Alright, this is going to be our last game, because if I don't have a hit with this one, then it may be pretty bad, so... Uh, save game, linear story. So, now I remember to put those in, maybe I can actually get something out of it. So, I'm making some decent money now. I have some leeway. Casual games, alright. Uh, dialogues move down, level design, AI, leave there. Haha. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Come on, technology. Okay, and then world design, graphics, and sound. Yeah, I'll leave all that as it is. Alright, made 200 grand in sales on that one. On my prison sim. 
Okay, not too many bugs, so hopefully I can win and get some of these more up here. One more week. Nope, doesn't have anything more to go up. Oh, the gameling. Yep. I'm not really far enough uh, from what I've seen in other Let's Plays to uh, be doing this poorly, so I haven't even had a great combo yet for my topics. So let's go ahead and release the game, see what the reviews are, and then call it a day. Alright, uh, oh, 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 eight, come on, keep it up there, keep it up. Seven, alright. Sci-fi simulation, yes. Okay. No perfect tens yet. Let's see, is there anything else? Three weeks for that? I'm not sure that. No, no, I definitely can't do that one, so. Uh, what's the next thing I need to do here? Let's do my research. All this costs money. <laughs> Any new topics? Medieval. Game tutorials. Evil. Yeah, I'm going to do that while my first week goes out. So, 10,000 10, in sales, so not bad. I'm definitely getting fans. Okay, so let's do one last game here. Uh, let's go new game. Pick topic. Medieval. Pick genre. Let's do medieval strategy there, and then game engine one. Let's call it Camo Lot. All right. This will be my last game. So engine gameplay. Yeah, keep that the same. Released. All right. Also on dialogues. Uh, yeah. Let's keep that as it is. And he's scratching his head because he's not sure how to proceed. Come on, Kimmel Watt. It's a it's a Middle Eastern you know medieval game. So <laughs> maybe the Crusades. There's a lot of medieval action going on over there. Alright, my high sales to date. So, world design, graphics, sound, I'll leave that as it is. Just because I don't know what the heck else to do with it. So, my design's definitely up, my technology's up too, so... Okay, make sure... One more week here. Game magazines, alright. New research, marketing. Okay, finish it. New topic, new combo. All right. Level up. Level editor. All right. So let's see what the result, what the reviews say now. Come on. Yes. Oh my gosh, this was a game. I just had to wait long enough. <laughs> Ten! Oh my gosh. Now you know why this game was so freaking addicting. It was so satisfying. Seven, 80,000 units! And because I'm over a million now, they want me to move into a new office. Not yet, because right now, I'm going to save. Woo! All right, number one in the uh, units sold here. So we're gonna see exactly how far this goes and uh, just see how much I make from it. Cause I got two, three, almost 2.3 million now. Camel Lot. I, I got a million sales in a game called Camel Lot. <laughs> just shows what the market will come out with. The Venegear. 
Okay. All right. So, if if I was keep on playing after this, I would basically research a new game engine, or do a lot more research than just using the money I have. Like, use maybe a million dollars to just get my character up and then move out. Like maybe one more game after that to you know do what I have. But come on, three million. Whew. All right, so we're gonna call it there. This is definitely a fun game, especially if you're, you know, have any nostalgia about the 80s games from where it started to where it is now and how it kind of progressed through the 80s. But uh, yeah, it's especially when you get that first, like, almost perfect score, or the, I got 110 on that one. So the others were nine. It was just, it was a lot of fun just kind of putting your, your own little touches on these games. So you can see why everyone loved playing this on all the Let's Play channels. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit here. And thank y'all so much for watching. Once again, this is Andrew T coming at you, and y'all have a good one.